What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that Series 8 rank double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an amazing video for you guys today. We got ourselves one of my favorite legendaries, Xerneas team with the Power Herb and Fairy Aurora. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. I've been having a blast with these Series 8 teams. But shout out to my boy Jan for dropping this team. It's looking amazing and I cannot wait to get after it. And also guys, if you want to drop me Series 8 teams, you guys already know the deal. Link to my Instagram is down in the description below, jeans underscore YouTube. If you guys already have teams, send them over there. Or if you guys want to make me teams, just let me know. Seriously, I need a Palkia Dialga team. Teams, ho oh and a lot of other legendaries to be made so I can show them off on my channel. But rocking out in the front spot, top left corner, we got ourselves a Moongus to get us started with a Regenerator ability, Eject Button, Rage Powder, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, and Stun Spoiler. This Pokemon can actually uh, protect our Xerneas really, really well because it eats up Poison and Steel type moves. We also got Volcarona right next to him, Bug and Fire, two Bug types on this team with Flame Body, Focus Ash, Quiver Dance to set up, Bug Buzz for stab, Flame Throw for stab, and Hurricane for coverage. Behind my face cam, we got Rhyperior, solid rock ability, weakness policy. You guys already know this thing's an absolute beast, especially in a Trick Room. So if someone's rolling Trick Room, we're bringing Big Rock Guy and we're going to get rolling from there. We got Protect, EQ, Rock Slide, and Fire Punch. Right next to him, the heart and soul of this team, the Pokemon we are here to show off, Xerneas. I absolutely love this Pokemon ever since it came out. Definitely my top three legendaries. Definitely top three for me. Fairy Aurora as his ability, Power Herb as our item because we got Geomancy, which is an amazing move. We get stat boosts, and it's a two-turn move, but Power Herb makes it go down to one. So it does big damage, we get stat boosts, and we can roll out afterwards. We also got Moon Blast for Stab, Thunder, and Focus Blast for our coverage moves. Bottom left corner is Sigilith. It's our Tailwind Pokemon slash Trick Room. It has both Tailwind and Trick Room, which is amazing, with Air Slash and Psychic for our stab moves. And then we got that Guav Berry and Magic Guard ability. In our final spot, we got one of the best e EV evolutions, in my opinion, Vaporeon over here. We got Water Absorb and Leftovers, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Yawn, and Protect. Guys, you want to try out the team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this Series 8 Xerneas team. Before we get started for battle number one, I know in the beginning of the intro I said Geomancy does damage, and I don't know why I said that it does no damage, it is just an amazing stat booster, booster stats by two in special defense, special attack, and speed. Yep, two in all those categories, and it is absolutely amazing once you get set up. But first battle coming at you guys, this guy has Umbreon, Incineroar, uh, Landorus, what is that thing called, Spectre? Yeah, Spectre, a Sun Gold, ooh, Fancy, and Celestial in the final spot. I think I just lead Xerneas. And Amoongus, try to set up and get rolling from there. And then have Volcarona in the back. Volcarona's not bad. I definitely want Vaporeon. And I want Volcarona. I do want Volcarona here. We're going to get rolling with that. So we just have some gold, so that's steel. That is a steel weakness for my Xerneas. But I do have the Amoongus. I can Rage Powder, eat that up, eject button, and be able to get off a of Geomant and a what's it called at the same time and get Volcarona out there. Because Volcarona can just get the swap in, use a Heat Wave, and do some mean damage to it. But we're going to see if we can get rolling here in battle number one. Hope we can, hope we can. I do need teams for the Calyrexes too. I know the Ice one's really, really strong. I know it's phenomenal. Unless so you can go coaching with Faramosa with it. Oh, that would be amazing. We go Spectre and uh, Sungol. It's totally fine. It's just totally fine by me. This is why we brought the squad here. I'm gonna try to set up and get one from here. We might Dynamax. Is he gonna Dynamax? I'm gonna get that Fairy Aurora. Loose Fairy typing. It's really, really nice. We're gonna go for that Geomance. Let's get it. And then just Rage Powder up. I wish we did have Spore on this thing to put Pokemon to sleep instead of Stun Spore. But, you know, Spore just... Or Stun Spore just does fine. Does fine. Dun, 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 dun. But the good thing about having a Jack Button on this Pokemon, on the Moongus, is once I get hit, I take that damage, I swap out, I have Regenerator, I get that HP right back, and then I come back in. But he is going to Dynamax, so go off the bat. Which I'm, I'm fine with. I'm totally fine with. It's got to be some goal, right? Yeah. I was gonna probably go for a steel spike over into my Xerneas. Again, I'm totally fine by that. I think we get rolling after this. I wonder what that thing speeds at. It's not gonna be able to outspeed my what's called. It's not gonna be able to outspeed my Xerneas after a Geomance. Rage powder coming out here. Oh, we powdering up. We powdering up. And he's gonna be able to taunt me. That's totally fine. You can taunt me. I'm gonna swap out here. I'm going to swap out here, so we get a turn waste on that. Here comes the Steel Spike. Again, I'm totally fine with that. He's going to be able to eat that up just dandy. I still did a lot of damage, but we still ate it up. And he's going to get the Defense Boost, which I'm not worried about. I'm really not worried about that at all. So here goes my Eject Button. We're going to be able to get back, get HP, and have a reset up of Geomancy. Which is amazing. I'm going to get Volcarona out here. 
What's Volcarona's speed? I wish I knew so goal is speed. I might look it up real quick. 152. Uh, what's going to definitely be able to outspeed with plus two? I'm going to be able to get out uh, Volcarona, and we're going to get Buzzy. See if I can look up uh, so goal is speed. Uh, goal is speed. Pokemon. I'm tapping right now. I want to see this. Hmm. If I can see it. I can't even find it. I think I spelled the same. <laughs> Let's see. Geomancy is getting set up. We're buzzing now. Uh, I wish I could see its speed. It's not showing its speed. I don't know. Can't find it. Cannot find it. That's totally fine. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to say... Uh, do I guard here? I definitely want a Dynamax. I definitely want a Dynamax. I might guard. I do have a Sash. I think I'm going to guard it and drop a Flamethrower onto you. And try to do some damage. I think that's play. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to guard because he's definitely going to want to go for a Steel Spike into me. So I think I just guard here, eat it up. And then we roll after it. So I'm plus two on all stats. And dude, I really tried looking up the stats and I couldn't even find it. <laughs> I feel so disappointed. I just wanted to know the speeds. I just want to know uh, if both of can outspeed. I know Xerneas will because he's plus two. We got a lot of HP here as well, which is beautiful. See what he does. I'm going to guard. Bink. Is he going to guard as well? He's going to snarl. I'm going to be able to block that. Oh, I'm low battery. I'm low battery. Disgusting. Volcarona is going to get a, a special attack drop. And Flamethrower is going to be able to come out here as well. Do a little bit of damage to him. Wish we could have got some more. He's policy. Of course he's policy. Of course he's policy. But it's good to know Volcarona does outspeed. It's lovely. Steel Spike's going to come in here. Blah. Get out of my face. Okay. So we blocked that. Um, the play now. Good Starfall. Good Knuckle, good Lightning. I don't want to double up into Sogoa. Hmm. Hmm. I just take out you? With my terrain rolling? He's policy buff. I really don't like. So I kind of want to double up into it. I use Lightning's going to be a better move. I'm going to double up into you. He's going to snarl me though, which I really don't like. He's going to snarl me, which I really don't like. Hopefully we can pick up the KO. Once he snarls me, we're only going to be plus one. Oh, he's not? He's not snarling? Oh, we just outspeed it, which is nice. That's what it is. So he's probably going to snarl. So we should be able to take Sogola out? Actually, I hope so. Hopefully he doesn't go for a snarl. Let's see what he does. Come on, please take it out. He's going to go for a snarl. Ugh. Yo, come on, Volcarona. Come on, big, baby. Come on, big. I need you. I know he's minus one. But I need you here, big dog. Take him out. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, Volcarona. Let's get it. Big plays there. So we got another turn left in Dynamax. We are still plus one on Xerneas, so I'm just going to dump on Inspector so he doesn't uh, lower my stats again. And I might swap out so I have Volcarona for later. Because he's minus two. He is minus two. And I know I will get a free KO on whoever Pokemon I want to choose here. So we're set up boosted. We got special defense too. I'm just going to go into Lando. I'm going to go into Lando. And do I take out the Lando or do I take out Spe I feel like Spectre is posing the bigger threat. Right? I have Vaporeon in the back. I'm going to Starfall here. Um, who do I take out? Let me take out Spectre. Let me just swap you into Amoongus. We get Amoongus back out here. That's why I have Volcarona for later turns. The Spectre we're going to be able to dump on. Hopefully it's not Sash. If it's Sash, I'm going to be like, I don't really like that. Let's get buzzing here. Here goes my Starfall. We're plus one here. Stab. This should be able to just easy KO. Think. Get him out of here. He's Sash. No! What you mean? Should have went after Lando. Should have went after Lando. God dang. Of course it's in Sash. I do have a Rage Powder coming up here, but I just wanted my stats back on my Volcarona. Rock is going to be able to come out here. Thernius eats. Amoongus eats. And another Snarl brings us back down to normal, which is fine. Because I got to take him out this turn. So I will take him out this turn. And I couldn't Rage Powder, but actually, I'm not going to Rage Powder. I am not going to Rage Powder due to the fact that, what's it called? That he's probably just going to Rock Slide. But I'm just going to Moon Blast. I am going to finish this thing off so he doesn't get off another Snarl. And I'm just going to drop a nice big old Giga Drain over there. Okay. Get a little bit of HP back. That's the play. 100% the play. Battle was canceled. GG, let's go. Xerneas gets the win in battle number one. Battle number two coming at you guys, going up against a really, really strong Kyogre team right here. I got to bring Vaporeon because we have that water absorb. He's definitely got to come in here, get rolling with that. He also has the Pikachu, which I don't really like. I really don't like the Pikachu. But if I water absorb, will it eat up the shot? 
I'm a little confused by that. Will it eat up the... Say he goes into a water pulse. Or not water pulse. A water spout. Will that eat up the shot? Like, completely? I don't really know if it will. But I kind of want to lead Xerneas. And I might Dynamax him right off the bat. I don't want... I'm going to lead Amoongus just in case. And I am going to have Vaporeon for the swap. Um... Final spot, like, or do I lead a uh, Sigloth here? Or Vizernius? Then we, uh, we withdraw and we lead Sigloth over that. We bring Xerneas and a Porion. Need to play. That's if he leads Kyogre. Yeah, that's if he leads Kyogre. I wanna withdraw. I wanna withdraw all you. I'm gonna go Amoongus, Xerneas. I'm gonna go Vaporeon, and then now I got Sigloth. I think I'm gonna bring Sigloth in the back end. Is that a eject button and I want to set up a tailwind or I want to just go do something from there? We're gonna we're gonna roll out with this. We're gonna roll out with this. But I definitely want to lead Xerneas over the Sigilith. Because again, if he doesn't lead the Kyogre, then I like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting. I have water absorb, which is nice. But I can't swap. I can't totally just swap. So he's gonna go Kyogre King. So he's gonna get the rain going. He's gonna get buzzing here. I do have water absorb. Um Do I Dynamax just rage power this turn? Get the swap for free. Bring in Vaporeon. Hmm. Because I don't think Water Spouts take me out in one shot. Uh, not, not a chance, right? I don't think I just Rage Powder here. I, I don't think I set up a Geomans. I think I just get after Great Sharp. Do I take you out or do I do damage to the Kyogre? They're both posing such a threat. Hmm. I think I just take out the Kinger. Get rid of that. Let's do that. Let's make that. Let's make that play. Cause he's just gonna water spout, and I'll be able to get out uh, Vaporeon if I really want to next turn. Hmm. hmm. This one's gonna be a tough battle. This one is going to be a tough battle. Kyogre's really good. Kyogre teams are tough up, tough to play up against too, especially now that he poses two big threats with Kyogre and Kingdra in the rain. It's just huge. It is just huge, but yo guys, I have a, a, a banger of a team coming. Probably next video. Not this one, the next one. Uh, I got ourselves an airlock Rayquaza team, which counteracts a weather change, and it's just so strong. It is really strong. Cannot wait to show you guys. We're going to Dynamax here. We're going to try to get rolling with this. We're going to go for the Rage Powder. Probably going for the Water Spout. Journey should be able to eat up. I wish I would it, or would have been able to set up a Geomance, but Amoogus avoids, which is lovely. Journey is going to take a little bit of damage, and Water Spout is probably going to come out here. He gets an accuracy job. Might bite me later, but Kingdra's gonna go down. He's that's his life for Pokemon. Origin Pulse. Oh my god, we dodge. We're dodging. We're eating up here. I did like that. So Amoogus is gonna swap. Okay, uh. Do I get out Sigilith and just start taking speed? Get out Sigilith here. Start trying to take speed. With a tailwind boost? Kingdra's dead. Which is enormous. Which is enormous. I'm surprised he didn't go for a water spell at full HP. I guess he thought maybe I was hitting him. But there we go. We'll be able to take Kingdra out. So see you later. We'll get our terrain rolling. This one, this one is going to be tough. I know that for a fact. Sigleth is out here. We still have Amoongus in the back, which shoots. So I can set up, up, up a Tailwind and get rolling from there. I like how this team has uh, some off matter Pokemon as well. It's so cool. This team is awesome. And then Xerneas. One of the coolest legendaries. There's no doubt. Like, look at this thing. It's gorgeous. And his fairy was like one of the first fairy typings. Just amazing. And okay. Now that's scary. That's gonna be his Dynamax Pokemon. Um, I still set up a tail one. Then uh, how do I roll with this? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. This one's gonna be this one's gonna be tough, man. I'm gonna try to take out this Kyogre if I can. I am gonna try to take out this Kyogre if I can. Oh my lord, dude, the Metagross, he brought the Metagross, man! Metagross is going to do huge damage to me. Do we think we can eat up one Steel Spike from it? Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know, but hopefully we can get off this Tailwind and get off a Lightning before Metagross even goes. Let's see what he does. But if that Kyogre outspeeds, he's going to be able to dump on my Sigla. Dude, this, this team's stacked. This team is stacked. He's going to die to Max Metagross. Ah! Dude, that's what's crazy about Series 8. It's just, there's so many powerhouse Pokemon now. Just... Oh my lord, every Pokemon, or every team has absolute powerhouses on it. Like, Metagross is already OP, now paired alongside with Drizzle Kyogre. Ridiculous. Let's see what's happening, let's see what the plan is. Kyogre missed me again or something. Oh, Sigla's gonna go first, that's huge. Do you think we can take out this Kyogre in one shot? That'd be a huge turn. Get rid of this Kyogre right now. We do have the lightning dropping. Take him out, say bye-bye. 
We do not. We need that stab boost. We need that stab boost. What if he's going for like a water spout? That would be nice. We can eat up. He's definitely going for a steel spike into my my boy. He is going to go for a water spout, so it's going to be less damage. That's really nice, and he is going to go for a steel spike, which is probably going to take me out, right? Cancer. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay, so we're buzzing here. Looking pretty decent. Um, what kind of protect? He's going to get a defense boost. If they pour on in the back. Um. Hmm. Go here. Can't go here. We're gonna outspeed. Do do we say psychic takes out? Right, I'm gonna go for a psychic grip on you. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can over on the metagross. This will go for a max lightning. We have to go for a max lightning. We have the terrain. And it's base 140. It's gonna do more than whatever uh Knuckle or Starfall has to do. But we're going with that! We're going with that. Metagross is looking scary. Someone moves in the back. Kyogre's gonna protect. That's that's fine by me. That's a fine turn by me. That's cool by me. Psychic is just gonna get blocked. Imagine if I would have doubled up. Just do a little bit more damage. And start or lightning's gonna be able to come out here. Do a little bit of damage, not too much. We already know that. There we go. And we're gonna say bye bye Xerneas. He's gonna quake into me to get that special defense boost. Smart play, smart little cookie there. Alright, so Xerneas is dead. Um I could rage powders next turn. And just waste out of turn. He's gonna get the special defense boost. Which I do not like. I do not like. Uh play might be the rage powder this turn. Or not even rage powder. Do I even rage powder? Do I go for the stun spore? I gotta save Vapor now. Let's see. Or I can get him out right now. I'm gonna get him out right now considering there's rain. Considering there is rain, I have to get him out here and drop a hydro pump. <laughs> I have to. I have to drop a hydro pump. I wish I had ally switch. I wish I had ally switch. I'm gonna go for the psychic over here. And I am gonna go for a hydro pump. What do I yawn? No, I'm gonna go for a hydro pump. I have to I have to I have to get after with a hydro pump. That's a fact. Maybe I should have doubled up into it. But I really want this Kyogre out the way. I do have water absorb, so I shouldn't even worry about it. Let's see what he does. Let's, let's see what the play is. But like I said, I need to get off this Hydro Pump on this Metagross. Metagross is posing such a big threat right now. And I don't really have anything else to take it out. And the rain, I think it ends next turn. Hydro Pump land. I need Hydro Pump to land. Second KO. Ah, oh, you stink, Sigla. You stink. Hydro Pump comes out here. Not doing a lot. Not even doing a lot. This thing's bulked up. He's got the defense boost as well. Here goes the Thunder. That's 100% landing. Is he going in Sigla? No, nope, Vaporeon. We still eat. Oh, is he doubling up into me? That's the real question. Metagross is going to go for a steel spike. Go to Sigleth. Yes. Alright. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. This one's going to be close. This one can be close. Another Hydro Pump takes out Meta. There's my leftovers. Another Hydro Pump takes out Metagross. Um, we Rage Powder this turn. We're back up to basically full HP. Amoongus can 1v1 this uh, Kyogre, no problem. Wait, and will another Hydro Pump take this out? If we have Rain. I think Rain might end. E. I think Rain might end, which I don't like. Unless he's holding like a... Uh... Ooh, ooh, how long is Rain? Or did we just get lucky on that one? We just got lucky on that one. We, we didn't count turns. We have one more turn left in Tailwind. He might protect. Hmm. Play it. What's your speed at, Amoongus? <laughs> What's your speed at? <laughs> Let me see this thing's speed. This is a good battle. Good battle. 50. We're not outspeeding that Kyogre. We well, might outspeed you. I'll speed you. I'm gonna rage powder and go for that hydro pump. That's the plan. Do not protect meta. Do not protect. He protects that little buttery biscuit. He does not protect. Actually, yeah, protect will come out before rage powder. So he doesn't protect. Hopefully this hydro pump can take out. Land it. Yes, take out. Come on, give me the KO. Give it to me. Give it here, baby. I know he's plus one. Let's go. Let's go, Vaporeon. Let's get it. Okay. So he's going to have to go for a Thunder. A Moongus eats that up. On the daily. On the daily. I Rage Powder again. I need to take out this last Pokemon. I need you, Vaporeon. Leftovers triggering. This is a close battle. It's a really close battle. If we pull this off, it really depends who his last Pokemon is. It really does. 
That's what it's coming down to. Then when Peter's out, he's gonna throw out who? Who are you gonna throw out, kind sir? Or not? Ooh. Might taunt me this turn. Might taunt me this turn, but I still have the rage powder. And will that KO you? Or do I drop an ice beam? He might be Sash. Hmm. Oh, I could yawn. I could yawn on somebody. I'm gonna yawn on Tornadus. Maybe I should have dropped an ice beam. He might taunt me. I know I'm low battery. I know I'm low battery. It's okay. Rage powder coming out here. I'm gonna yawn on this thing. Hurricane's coming out here. That's tough news. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Actually, is electric terrain gonna eat me up here? Oh no, Thunder just comes out here and wins in the match. No! No, GG. GG. Yo, solid second battle. That was long drawn out. We had a fighting chance. We did we did, we did keep our own, but we ended up losing. We're one and one. We can hop into our third and final battle and look for that winning record. Third and final battle, looking for that winning record for the Jeans Online Gamer Community, baby. Looking for it for you guys. Can we get rolling with this one? We are sitting at 1-1. One one. Like I said, we won that first battle. Second battle was pretty good, but we ended up losing. Strong Kyogre team gave us a whooping. But I, I feel like Xerneas and Amoongus is just our main leads here. Right? I think that works out pretty good. He has a Shadow Rider, which I really don't like at all. But I am going to go Amoongus here, try to set up a nice little Geomance. I am going to bring Vaporeon because he kind of covers a lot of that stuff. And Volcarona is going to be pretty nice in here as well. So uh, we're going to get puzzled with all of these. We're going to get puzzled with all of them. Try to get it here. But you guys already know the power of uh, Xerneas once you get it set up. But I feel like there could be better options on this team. A lot of these Pokemon are off meta, which I really, really like. But again, there are probably better options for this team to pair up with Xerneas. But still, yo, the Rayquaza team tomorrow, really good. I'm loving it. It looks very, very strong. And with the airlock controls weather, really nice. He's gonna go Calyrex and Blast Leaf. I don't really know what this Calyrex does. I know we could probably Shell Smash up here, um, which he might do. So I might just Stun Spore. At the same time, I want to set up my boy. I want to set up my Zern. My Zern is as one comes out, he's probably gonna unnerve me. Say, hey yo, none of those berries. I'm not playing around with the berries. I say, hey, it's all right, it's all right. You don't have to worry about me. I'm gonna set up a GMS. Dude, we're trying to rock out with this. We're trying to show it off. Thing is, I want a Sun Spore. I really do. I have to rage here. I have to protect the Cerny as well. It sets up. It's Shadow Rider. Does he have a double hitting move on that Calyrex? He's gonna Dynamax. Okay. Hopefully, Dynamax Calyrex. He might set up a what's it called? He might set up a uh, Shell Smash. And in that case, I might just Max Lightning him next turn. Ooh, no. He just Dynamax his Blasted. Right off the rip. We're trying to get after it. He's going for it. He says, hey. He says, hey. Getting this blast phase out here. There's nothing you can tell me about it. Say, all right, yo, relax there, buddy. Rage powder coming out here. Yo, protect my, protect my boy right here. Protecting. I think Kalex is gonna go for a psychic, and it's gonna do some huge damage. Oh, he eats though, which is lovely. So, does rage powder go over that slot? I'm gonna go for Vaporeon out here. So is everything on the, to that slot right now, or is he going to be able to go after Xerneas? That's my question. I'm going to go for G-Man. He is going to be able to go after Xerneas. That's nuts. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But Xerneas eats, though. Xerneas eats like a champ. We are going to be able to bring out you. We're going to be able to get Geomance, which is huge boost. I'm really not worried about the Blastoids as much anymore, because I have two, plus one special defense. Dude, that thing ate like a tank. Ate like a tank. I'm gonna take out Calyrex here. I'm gonna say, hey, yo, see you later, Calyrex. I'm not worried about the place as, as I as I thought I was gonna. But I'm plus two special defense now. Yeah, and I know for a fact he's special attacking. I guess that vortex damage. E, don't like that. I got a Dynamax U though. I got a Dynamax U, and I'm gonna go for Starfall. I'm gonna take out Calyrex, and I am going to double. Actually, I'm going to yawn into this place. I'm going to yawn into this place. So hopefully, his Calyrex isn't Sash. We can take it out. I wonder what he is going to go after now. Hopefully he goes after Vaporeon. We are going to get uh, an extra like 100 HP, which is really nice. I know I'm down to half health, but Xerneas is set up. He has a special defense boost. I know he's out here with uh, special attackers. So I know he can eat up decently well. We go back up to about 200 HP. And I, I could get back out of what's called next. Or I could double guard. 
wait for you to go to sleep. This should KO. Unless he's sash. Of course he's sash, man. Of course he's sash. God dang it. Of course he's sash. I'm gonna be able to get off my little Aurora here. I'm gonna guard next turn. I'm gonna be able to get off. Oh, he's gonna be able to get off an Igadon. Yo, that's scary. Chill on me. Chill on me. Of course this thing's sash, man. Nah, I'm sick of these sashes, man. I'm sick of the focus sashes. I'm gonna be able to get off a steel spike. We're gonna be able to eat that up all day. Man, yeah, thank you very much. You can have your defense boost. Look how tanky we are. Look how tanky we are. Good defense boost. Uh, play here is probably gonna be take out Calyrex. I might take out Calyrex and uh, swap into a Moonus. Might be my play. Might be my play. Did I get did I get off my yawn? Hey, Strauss. Okay. Do I set up terrain here? Let me take out Calyrex. I really like my uh, other turn. I do like my other terrain, so I'm gonna go after Calyrex. Do I take it? Hmm, do I take a Calyrex? Do I do damage to the Blastoids? I do damage to the Blastoids next turn. This is gonna be slumped, so I am going to swap into a Moogus here. Yeah, I am gonna swap into a Moogus. Save my Vaporeon for later usage. Vaporeon, get back here, boy! Get back here! Let's get my Moogus back out. We might go after my Moogus slot. Which would be fine. Because you don't do damage to my Xerneas. Starfall's gonna come out here. We're gonna say bye to Calyx. We still have another turn here. But I should be able to take out Blastoise next turn or whenever I want. He's gonna be asleep. He's gonna be asleep, so I'm probably just gonna go for Giga Drain's next turn over onto the Blastoise. See what he goes for. He's gonna go for another Steel Spike. Totally fine. We're special attacking, and I know we eat up. We're real bold. So you're asleep. Xerneas outspeeds everything here. I know nobody else has a Sash. I can Giga Drain get a lot of HP back. And I should be able to take out whatever I uh, want on the right slot. Unless he has first turn priority. Oh, he's protected by the mist. Hate this game. Hate it a lot. I really do hate it. He's gonna bring out Robo. Oh man. I am gonna have to rage powder this. Actually, he doesn't get affected by rage powder. Oh man, dude! The dang terrain. The dang terrain just says we're looking good. And my boy eats up. No, he's physical. He's physical. He's gonna take me out. I'm gonna go for a guard. What I want out of here. Who posed the bigger threat? Do I have Volcarona in the back? I have Vaporeon. I do have Vaporeon. Do I have Volcarona? I might. Yeah, I do. I do want to go for Starfall. We're gonna go after you. Uh. Actually. We're gonna go for Blastoids. And I'm going to double up into you if I can. Let's try it. Let's see what we got. Good to grass guide. Eat it up, buddy. Eat it up. Nope, not a chance. Not a chance, yo. Third battle. Ooh. Tough one here. Tough one here. But still, Xerneas is very, very strong Pokemon. Tough battles here. Here comes Blizzard. He connects. That's GG's. This is going to be GG's. Unless I protect, land a nice solid heat wave. But I don't think we're taking out the real He's going to outspeed me both. Oh man, we're getting ripped up here. We're getting ripped up! We're getting ripped up. Looks like one and two for this video, guys. Looks like one and two. Volcron is gonna come out here. But yeah, definitely very, very strong team here. I feel like there, there can be a lot better pairings to go alongside with uh, Xerneas here. Because a lot of these Pokemon get uh, dumped on really, really hard. Do I go for the Flamethrower or do I go for the Bug Buzz? Do we go for the Bug Buzz? My Bug Buzz will do more damage. 90, this might burn. Look at Bug Buzz. Let's get Bug Buzzing, baby. And then... Hmm. I'm gonna double up in the real boom slot. But I am Sash, though. Here's Grass Guide. Should've protected. This game. Should've protected. Let's see if Bug Buzz would've taken out one shot. If Bug Buzz would've taken out one shot. That would've been a money protect. I don't think it is, though. It is. Dang, dude. Should've definitely protected. 100%. That was bad play by Jeans. Bad play by Jeans. Skull's gonna come out here. He's gonna do a decent amount of damage on me. We still do eat. Dude, then I would have still had my boy Vaporeon, but Vaporeon's not doing much up against that Blastoise. 
That sash really did come up big. Same thing with that grass guy with the real boom. Huge, huge, huge. Gonna bring out Regilecki. Regilecki would have dumped all my big Corian, no problem. That's gonna be GG. We're gonna run from this one. We go one and two. At least we do catch ourselves a win. Second battle was pretty, pretty strong. And then third battle, we got absolutely dumped on. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Jan for dropping this team one more time. Xerneas absolutely rocks out, especially once you get it set up with the Geomance. We got to show that off in battle number one. We were able to dominate and kind of just sweep out with them. Second battle was pretty strong. We had a close battle, ended up losing. And third battle, we had just had off pairings and that guy dumped on us. But like I've been saying throughout the video, there are definitely better Pokemon you can pair Xerneas with, considering there are so many strong meta Pokemon that you can use like Tapu Fini, all that good stuff. And we have a bunch of off meta Pokemon, but I still love this team. I really still do love this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, wait till tomorrow. We got ourselves a Rayquaza video coming out. I know that Pokemon has been highly requested. So I'm bringing you guys that one tomorrow. And that team is fire. I was looking at it today, and it's looking really, really good. So I cannot wait to show it all. But seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you guys spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.